Chris and Tammy live from the Collard Valley Cook Kitchen. You haven't seen me in a while. I burnt my finger and it's been really bothering me. But we are in here tonight and I got me some rubber gloves. So when I'm washing the dishes, it's going to help me. So be careful with your grease because I burnt my finger frying chicken. All right, we're going to get started ma making my mama's Saturday waffles. It says mama's Saturday waffles. Mama would make these sometimes. She'd pull out this old thick green cookbook and make them. This is in my third cookbook. And I remember how excited we'd get. She'd beat up those egg whites and fold them in there, make these light, beautiful, delicious waffles. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna be using our white lily flour to make our waffles. And you do use all purpose. I hardly ever use my all purpose. So I'm gonna open a new bag and put it in here. And we're gonna use a new bag of white lily all purpose flour tonight to mix up our waffles. And everybody always asks about these. These are these are containers that we have on the website and then the stickers on them came from White Lily. Everybody asks, where can I yes. get these containers? So if you want a container with White Lily on it, you have to buy your container. These containers are on the website, but now if you actually want some canisters, um, you have to buy your own canisters. You can go through Amazon through one of our links but the the white lily on both of these items are actually stickers from their website if you go to their store and click on sticker set they're only four dollars for a set hmm. all right so we're going to get this in the trash and this is 2022 in case you watch this years later all right so we're going to drop some square sausage in our frying pan so tonight we're having the best of both worlds sausage and waffle mm. so this is just swaggerty sausage you can find it at walmart yum yum it's our favorite and so i got that on a medium heat and we're going to start getting these waffles ready now the first thing you do whoop, i didn't melt that yet is you melt a half stick of butter in your bowl that you're going to mix your waffles up in and so we've already got this waffle iron. It's an old fashioned round waffle iron. It's hot and steaming. So it's preheated. So go ahead and preheat it. I like my waffles dark and crunchy. So I got it on five. You can also get these through our website. They're the old fashioned, just an old simple Quiznart. I do not, I'm so funny, but that's not quite melted but i don't like what they call those deep waffles oh the belgian waffles yes i'm not yeah. crazy about those and that's because i personally don't like real deep pockets in my waffles because to me it makes the waffles soggy when you put your syrup on there hmm. so i'm a real fan of old-fashioned this thinner waffle type okay hmm. I guess because it's what I grew up on. I don't really know for sure. But we're going to go ahead in, in this um, and we're going to start mixing up our waffles. First thing we're going to do is separate three eggs. You can come on over here, Chris. So we're going to separate eggs because you're actually going to beat egg whites. And that takes a few minutes. So it takes at least three minutes to beat the egg whites. So be patient with that today since we're live. I could have beat them up before I came on, but then it wouldn't have been like mama was really making them, would it? Lord, I didn't get a good side to get you that. You put the whites in the yellow. I did, didn't I, honey? Yeah, you did. Well, I can take them back out. Okay. It's what I do when I talk. I just don't even pay attention to what I'm doing. It's what happens when you get to be in your 50s, young ladies. Hmm. In case you're wondering. All right, there's one yellow, two yellows, and three yellows. Good. Look at there. Where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. Right, Daddy? I guess. You reckon? Mm -hmm. I reckon so. All right, let's mix up these waffles. Um, you're going to melt your butter in your batter bowl, add your buttermilk, your eggs, the, your egg yolks, and your vanilla. Let me turn these down on low. So, 
We're going to add our egg yolks. Let me get me a whisk. Gonna put those in our butter. Our buttermilk is two cups. So we got two cups of buttermilk. And everybody's always asking me about their buttermilk, and I use mine past the expiration, but of course I can't tell you you can, because then, what, what if something happens? But I'm gonna tell you, I always do. Mom always did. I use it until I get done with it. Now, if you don't use buttermilk that often, you don't need to wait forever. But mine's actually a little past the expiration date now. And if you want to know a guide, I would say two weeks. How's that? That's not, I would go longer personally, but I can't tell you to go longer than that. Hmm. All right, so now we're going to put in two cups of flour, uh, baking powder, baking soda. Let's put in our vanilla first. Now, Kathy Williams from Alabama made me some vanilla, y'all, and I ain't even opened it and showed it on the show yet, so I want to say special thanks to Kathy Williams. And tonight, your vanilla's going in my mama's. Look at this cute little top it's got on it so it don't pour out too fast. Hmm. That means you got to measure it. Uh-oh. You? <laughs> You're going to have to measure it for once. No, actually, that was nope. just a little thing in the thing. Oh, I don't mean nothing. Okay. I'm gonna measure. I'm just gonna pour it in here. There you go. Yeah. Mmm, smells so good, Kathy. Okay, so there's our buttermilk, our eggs, and our butter, and our vanilla, and now we're gonna put in our flour, and we're gonna use two cups of this. Wonderful all-purpose flour. There's one. I gotta get me a fork. I can't do this now with this. Or I'm gonna make a mess. Maybe. It's too big to get this for. Get the fork. kitchen ain't a baby two cups let me flip this right here right quick y'all come on here we'll flip the sausage pretty sausage smells good don't it mm -hmm. wish y'all could eat with us this is such a simple supper i remember being a kid we get so excited when mama pulled out the waffle iron your mama make them like this, Chris? No. No? Nope. Oh, my mama did. We got excited when mama pulled out the egos. <laughs> All right, so we're mixing that up. So there's our flour in there. And now we're gonna beat up an egg and fold it in there and that's gonna be our waffle shawl. We gotta add just a little bit of sugar to it. Did you add your uh, baking soda and baking powder? No. And salt and all that? No. I gotta do that too, baby. Okay, salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. Okay. I'm just gonna throw some sugar in here. Ready? Yep. There you go. Sugar. Um a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, of course, I'm looking for a teaspoon. Teaspoon of baking soda. There you go. And how much? Salt. A half a teaspoon of salt. There you go. And two teaspoons of baking powder. This is brand new baking powder. I just opened it tonight, y'all. Brand new. Brand new. Clabber girl. Baking powder. All right. So let's mix it up good. 
And now all we have to do is fold in the egg whites and drop a waffle. That looks good. Looks like cake battered on it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much what it is. Yeah. For real. For real. Pretty much what it is. All right, so there you have it. And now we're gonna beat up our egg whites. We're gonna put, a, put them in this four cup measuring uh, cup so that they beat a little quicker because it they'll be in a taller area. And it's probably gonna still take at least, it usually takes three minutes. So we'll see how long it takes with this. Now ready. Now, I think that's a good idea to use this, if you've got a four cup glass measuring cup to do egg whites in. I think it worked good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip this over and then we're gonna drop a waffle. Okay. Simple dinner. We haven't had waffles in forever, have we? No. We ain't had them since we moved here. I don't think we have. Waffle iron, ain't it? Yeah. I made me some fresh coffee, y'all. So I'm gonna sit it right here because we're gonna pour us a cup of coffee. Alrighty. Mm. Here we go. Now I got some uh, pancake syrup at Sam's Club. And it's called Pearl Milling Company. Now, I did not get real, um, what do you call it? Syrup. Yes. Maple syrup? Maple syrup. We okay. don't use maple syrup. We, we just use this bad for you kind, mm -hmm. you know, okay. You know, the kind we grew up eating down here in the south. We didn't have the maple trees like y'all do with the maple syrup up there. Mm -hmm. In the upper states, we used to have some dairy farmers, actually, that used to live down here in Georgia. I'll tell them this story right quick while I'm finishing up my sausage. Mm -hmm. There was a, some dairy farmers uh, <clears throat> that we knew that were from up north, and they lived in the States here in Georgia, where they lived in Georgia, okay? And they moved back up there, and they had maple syrup, and Daddy would get some maple syrup from them every once in a while. Mm. He would do that. Mm -hmm. Daddy liked. Daddy liked real maple syrup. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Okay. Oh wait, let's fold these in first. We don't want to cool it down. And then we are going to drop one. Okay. So you just take your egg whites and you just fold them in. In my hometown this week is the uh, fair. I remember when I was young, we'd go to the fair. Oh, what fun. And tonight's the cattle show. And Daddy 
We'll probably go to the cattle show tonight there at the fair. It says place a half cup of batter in your waffle iron and make it as dark as you want it. So we're going to get out a half cup scoop and that's what we're going to use in our waffle iron. Okay. Now if you use too much, of course it runs out the side. So let me scoot it over just in case. And we're going to pick up a half cup, this beautiful batter. See how light and fluffy it looks. And we're going to place it right in here. Y'all, I didn't spray it. It's not supposed to stick to this thing, but I think I typically spray it anyway. Uh, but it's too late now. Let's close it. Too late now. We're gonna put our plate right here. Now, the way it works is you can see that the light is red. Boy, it smells so good. The light is red, and when it turns green, you can get it out. And I've got it on the darkest setting. Mm -hmm. I swear I like it. I like them dark and crunchy. How do you like them, Chris? Dark and crunchy. Dark and crunchy. That's how I like them. I'm always trying to pick up as I go. Whose mama made waffles and actually beat egg whites and put in the batter? I want to know how many mamas cooked that way. Or did she just mix up pancake mix out of a box? Hmm. Y'all let me know because I'm going to tell you, if you've never had a fresh waffle like this, y'all grab my third cookbook mm -hmm. and try it. It's good. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's great. Here we go. It's great. Body pack. Perfect. There it is. Now, if you want to make a lot of them and you don't want them to get soggy, you can take them and you can cook them and you can keep them hot in the oven or you can put them in your air fryer and crunch them up some. Okay? So, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put a little butter on this and I'm going to give it a try. And we're going to pour us. Swaggerty's actually sent me this beautiful coffee cup. Ain't it pretty? Hmm. And so I'm going to pour me some coffee in it. I already got sugar in there. Okay. Pull my seat back. Have me a Swaggerty sausage. A white lily waffle. Can't get any better than that, can you, Chris? Nope. So we're gonna put a little butter on it. Get us a piece of sausage out. And you can also actually, and I've done this before, I've cooked them on light and then turned around and put them back in there and cooked them again. It's just toward how crunchy you want it. Seriously. Let's put some syrup on it. Now, I'm not a big, big syrup fan. That's plenty for me. And I didn't drop Chris's because waffles are best fresh, ain't they, Chris? Yep. More video. And we want to show y'all. This beats Waffle House now. If you like waffles, this is your waffle. Yummy yum. Just like Mama made. Tammy's gonna be ready to watch cartoons now after she eats this waffle. Oh, that's so good. That is so good, y'all. Yummy, just like being a kid all over again. You never get too old. To eat a real homemade sweet waffle. Yummy. Woo, what a supper. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed evening. And we thank you so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Remember, this one's in our third cookbook. Y'all come back and see us and tell me if your mama made them just like this. Love you. Bye.